Hello everyone, back to into today's first video, doing the ECMWF 30 day look ahead for today's first video. So we're going to uh, have a look at the temperature and precipitation anomalies for the next four weeks from the uh, ECMWF season model. We're at the Hungarian Met Office uh, for this update, so thanks to them for supplying us with these charts. So it's going to take us well into March and uh, we'll see what the ECMWF is forecasting as we move ahead into uh, spring. Just to say that coming up later on this afternoon, we're going to have your week to 10 day video update. You'll be able to find that video on the home page. So we're going to start off with the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, week one um, temperature anomaly. It's week seven for the year, week seven for 2000. 19, but it's week one for our forecast period. Uh, it's a temperature anomaly for uh, Europe, taking us from the 11th through to the 17th of February. And uh, the coming week looks pretty mild, actually, across many parts of Europe. So we see large areas of Europe being forecast to be warm than average. The warmest anomalies to average are across the uh, northwest of Russia. There we're up to around uh, sort of uh, 6 to 10 degrees above average on the temperature scale. But most parts of Europe are coming out around uh, 3 to 6 degrees above average, so much milder than average across Scandinavia, for example, much milder than average in many central and eastern parts of Europe too. Very mild in the week ahead for uh, the UK and for Ireland as well. Temperature anomalies somewhere between around 1 and 6 degrees above average. So, again, very mild week coming up across so many parts of the UK and Ireland. <clears throat> Down into France, we can see that the temperature anomaly there is uh, a little bit closer to average, not quite as mild through France, around uh, sort of one to three degrees above average, so not a particularly uh, big deviation. And then we go down to Spain and Portugal, very similar uh, down there. Through the Med, it's not as uh, mild through the Med, actually, so uh, temperature anomaly is through much of the Mediterranean from uh, sort of uh, the Balearic Islands, New York and Minorca, North Ibiza in the west, over towards uh, Greece in the eastern part of the Med. Uh, generally coming out very close to average, a little bit above average in a few areas, a little bit below average in other places, particularly Greece looking rather on the cool side. So it looks like the coolest anomalies to average actually down in the Med, as uh, many other parts of Europe facing a very mild week. Uh, indeed. Then we go through to the week one uh, precipitation anomaly, and it looks pretty dry as well. It's obviously a large ridge is going to be causing these mild temperatures. We see that uh, parts of Norway and northern Scandinavia are uh, a little bit more unsettled up there, above average precipitation, presumably from the jet stream being pushed well to the north. Also, Iceland looking a little bit wetter than average. So we've certainly lost that blocking signal that we had in January, and now we've flipped into uh, a northerly tracking jet stream, taking low pressure through Iceland into the north of Scandinavia. Um, some eastern and southeastern parts of Europe looking a little bit more unsettled down there, maybe some thunderstorms for Greece, but otherwise it does look like a very dry scene, particularly across these central and western parts of Europe, significantly uh, drier than average, so uh, under 30% of average rainfall in the west of Europe. Some eastern and northeastern parts of Europe, yes, it's dry, but it's not quite as dry uh, for those areas. But overall, it looks like high pressure could be dominating, bring very mild temperatures, but also um, dry conditions for much of Europe this week. We move through to the week eight temperature anomaly for uh, 2019, week two for our forecast period, and these mild temperatures uh, continue. Very uh, mild week coming up here from the 18th to the 24th of January. And what a flip around on what the ECM was forecasting just two or three weeks ago. Uh, it was looking like a cold February then, but now it looks like February is going to be much, much milder than average, not just for the UK, but for most parts of Europe. So we just see this huge swathe of uh, orange here, right from Scandinavia, UK and France in the west, over to uh, western parts of Russia in the east, and all places in between forecast to have temperature anomalies of between 3 and 6 degrees above average. A very, very mild week coming up there from the 18th to 24th of February. Even down in the Mediterranean, it looks a lot milder. So uh, we see most of the med being forecast to be around 1 to 3 degrees uh, above average 
in fact, there's no um, sort of uh, cold and average temperature anomalies to be seen anywhere across Europe. You have to go right the way down here, almost in towards the Middle East, to find anything that's particularly colder uh, than average. So quite an extraordinarily mild week coming up there from the 18th to 24th February. If the ECWF is right, it's a total flip on what the ECM was forecasting uh, just uh just last uh, week or a couple of weeks ago. Precipitation-wise, it looks a little bit more unsettled in the far northwest of Europe. So parts of Norway are uh, coming out with uh, uh, above average precipitation. Some parts of the UK and Ireland also going a little bit wetter, especially in these western areas. So it looks like we probably have more influence from the Atlantic this week, probably bringing in more of a westerly flow. And the jet stream perhaps moving into the northwest of Europe as well, as opposed to being up here where it is in uh, week one. So a little bit more influence from the jet stream, a little bit more unsettled from the 18th to 24th February, the far northwest of Europe. But again, most places are actually coming out drier than average. It's another dry week, really, for most parts of Europe, particularly dry through these um, central parts of the Mediterranean. So I think we probably have high pressure sitting through the central med, bring up very mild temperatures, potentially out of the med and into... Um, many central and uh, ultimately northern parts of Europe. So it is a dry scene again for most parts of Europe, except in the far northwest, where it does look a little bit more unsettled. Most of the Mediterranean also looking really quite dry uh, this week. Then we're going through to week nine for 2019. It's week three for our forecast period. It takes us from the 25th of February through to the 3rd of March. Nothing doing really in terms of Colder weather, it looks like it stays very mild up to the end of February. Above average temperature anomalies for many northern parts of Europe. Again, the highest anomalies to average are across Scandinavia, 3 to 6 degrees above average. And some southern and southeastern parts of France close to uh, the Alps. So presumably not very good for uh, the uh, latter part of the skiing season down there. Uh, in the Alpine regions. It's not as mild in week uh, three as it is in week two, but nevertheless, it's widely milder than average in most parts of uh, Europe. The UK and Ireland, again, being forecast to have above average temperature anomalies of one to three degrees. It's a mild end to February. It's a mild start to um, March. Just in this far southeastern corner, it looks a little bit cooler, maybe a bit cold and average down towards Greece and Turkey. But other than there, most places, again, are looking... Uh, really mild here as the end of February and begin March. Most of the MEB forecasts have above average temperature anomalies as well. Uh, precipitation anomalies from the 25th of uh, February through to the 3rd of March. They're coming out, again, quite widely drier than average. So I think the ridge goes on, really. That's what's uh, bringing the mild and average temperature anomalies. It's a large area of high pressure. It's going to be covering many central and southern parts of Europe and bringing up very mild air out of the bed, potentially even out of North Africa. And that goes on um, into the end of the month, the start of March as well. Again, the anomaly is weakening a little bit, as it usually does in weeks three and four. But you can see that, broadly speaking, it's the same kind of pattern. It's a little bit wetter for parts of Norway. It's a little bit wetter for parts of Iceland, out in the Atlantic. So, obviously, we've got low pressure to the west or west of the UK. The low pressure areas are around here. Low pressure there, low pressure there, low pressure up here, low pressure up here. The jet stream is going to be doing something a little bit like that as well. Uh, and that leaves most parts of Europe being covered by a large area of high pressure. And that high pressure is bringing up that warmth out of the bed. And uh, so it just looks quite widely drier than average. The driest anomalies to average are through the this through this central bowl of the Mediterranean just here from kind of like um, sort of uh, Corsica, Sardinia and the Balearic Islands and Malta, the central med over towards the Adriatic and parts of the Balkans down there. But other than that, um, most places just a little bit drier than average. But that could be because the signal is weakening a bit as we get through to week three. Uh, week three, it usually does. And then finally, we're up to uh, week four or week 10 for 2019 and no changes at all. Really, the uh, mild spell or prolonged mild spell goes on. Again, we see above average temperature anomalies are forecast. Most parts of northern Europe, Scandinavia is above average. Most of these central parts of Europe are above average. Much of the med is above average as well. The UK and Ireland, closer to average there. 
on the mild of an average side, but it isn't as mild for uh, the UK and Ireland as it is for many other parts of Europe. Uh, we see in the far east and southeast of Europe, again, just, just looks a little bit cooler there, closer to average, not particularly cold, uh, but to closer to average, really, through those e far eastern and southeastern parts of Europe towards the Black Sea, and then go down towards uh, Greece and Turkey. Uh, but it's a mild scene, really, for much of uh, much of Europe as we go from the 4th through to the 10th of March. As far as precipitation is concerned, again, the signal is weakening as we're going along. It always does as we get through to weeks 3 and 4 with precipitation on any longer range model. So you'll see we've got more of a close to average or no signal type uh, situation here from the 4th to the 10th of March. Um, maybe just size it's turned a little bit more unsettled in the far west and southwest. It's a very weak signal, but possibly just signs that that ridge is starting to lose its influence a little bit uh, in west and southwest of Europe. So possibly for the UK, for Ireland, for France, for Spain, Portugal, possibly starting to turn a little bit more unsettled then. Potentially a little bit cooler as well, I suppose, if the jet stream is coming southwards, but there's very little evidence of that it looks like more sort of east and southeastern parts of europe are perhaps a little bit drier so around here for example from the Adriatic down towards uh, greece looks a little bit drier there so maybe just a few hints that the broad um the broad pattern is changing a bit that high pressure perhaps moving more towards the southeast of europe then uh and perhaps starting to allow the jet stream to move a bit further southwards bringing maybe some cooler air and also some slightly more unsettled conditions as well. But remember, this is week four, so it's before to the 10th of March. It's a very long way out, and the signals are really weak as well. I think the main takeaway from uh, this update um, from the ECWF this week is that high pressure is dominating across many parts of Europe for the rest of February now, and it's going to be bringing up very mild air from uh, southern Europe as well. So mild and dry looks like it's going to be the way forward for um, the rest of February and even going on into start of March, uh, potentially. So, uh, looks like we're in for a prolonged spell of dry and mild, maybe you'll say early spring type weather. The model might be going over the top. Remember, just two or three weeks ago, it was forecasting a very cold February. Uh, now it's totally flipped, and it's gone the other way to a very mild February, uh, and even lasting to March. It could be that the model is going over the top with this mild signal, but uh, I think it's supported by the shorter range output as well. So I suspect this is the way second half of February will play out with a lot of dry, mild, early spring weather, and then we should wait and see what March has in store for us when we get a little bit closer to it. Right, that's it for your uh, first video for today. <clears throat> we'll be back this afternoon having a look at weather next week, 10 days. But that's all for now, and thanks for watching.